Hello friends, welcome to Desi Teacher Videsh. So today we will discuss about the urgent PhD positions in Finland. And these positions are related to physics, uh, management, engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. Okay, so let's go through the details of each of these positions. So here is the first PhD position. And this is like in the field of... Uh, quantum technology. So the topic is basically the anion particles and topological phenomena, right? So about this PhD, the specifications are already written here. And this is, this is the, the research field is physics and electrical engineering. So you must have the master's degree in either physics or electrical engineering or related field. And if you have the interest towards the quantum technology, uh, so you must apply for this position. And other requirements are already written here. So prior lab experience in the field of mesoscopic physics or superconductivity or microwave engineering, something like that. If you have this experience, so definitely it will be a big plus. Okay, so I'm not going through the details of this. It's already written here. And this position is at Alto University, Finland. And the deadline is 1st of June. Please remember 1st of June. But please, it takes one day. If you are like just full day, if you have the desire to apply, just one day you can just finish all the documentation because they are not asking like big research proposal or something like that. Because everything, this is the structural PhD, means the topic is already defined and all... all the requirements are already here. So you just need to apply. Okay. So what you will get, so you will get 2,500 euro per month and it can be increased as you progress in your research and studies. And how to apply? You have to create a single PDF and which, which includes the cover letter or letter of motivation, your CV, your degree transcripts, contact details of two academic advisors or referees, only contact details. You understand? Means... Uh, like where they are working, what is the email ID, what is the contact number. You don't need to provide the reference letters, only the contact details of the referee. So link is provided here and link is also in the description box. And if you need my help, how to uh, create the documents and whatever, like you can always contact to me and I will help. Okay. The requirements also related to the quantum technology, but the topic is a little bit different. It is like electron quantum optics experiment in brief graphene and all these requirements are the same right so you need masters in physics or electrical engineering right and this is all also at alto university finland so you must have like uh, uh, the prior experience of like in the field of mesoscopic physics superconductivity i already discussed right so the, everything is same so just the topic is a little bit different and it is at the same institute of alto university Yes, and uh, so how to apply? Everything is the same. So link is here, and I will also provide the link at the description box. Please apply. Deadline is also 1st of June. Okay, now the many PhD positions in the field of semiconductor-based energy converter. This is also at Alto University, Finland. So, so deadline is 1st of June. So we have the PhD positions and postdoc positions as well. And not only one, many. So... If you have like a master's in physics or engineering, uh, then you can apply for doctor position. And if you have the PhD degree, you can apply for the postdoc position, right? So if you have the interest toward the semiconductor fabrication electrochemistry, you must apply for this position, right? So if you must have the good understanding of physics of compound semiconductor or device such as solar cells, infrared lasers and something like that. And three, five, device processing, if you have the experience, this is also very good for you. One more point, if you do not fulfill all these requirements, you still should apply because nobody can fulfill all 100% requirement. If you fulfill maybe 60, 80 percent requirements, you must apply for this position. Okay, so for this position, your salary will be 2,500 to 3,300, sorry, euro per month for doctoral position and around 3900 euro per month for postdoc position so how to apply is the same right so one single pdf you need all these documents pdf documents should be merged to the one single pdf how to merge you share you should like uh, search in the google just merge pdf and you will find and just put one pdf second pdf third pdf and you can merge link is here link also will be provided at the description box of this video Another PhD, 
this is the Marie Curie PhD and it is very like, for example, remarkable PhD and this is well renounced PhD, the Marie Curie scholarship, right? And this is related to the computational physics and this is at University of Eastern Finland, right? And the deadline is 5th of June. So still you have a lot of time, 5th of June, right? And so basically this all related to the, for example, I can say the image processing. So uh, if you have like, uh, for example, uh, interest towards the image reconstruction or something like that, you must apply for this PhD. And you see the objective of this PhD is to develop a novel combination of advanced image reconstruction methods and optimal data collection techniques, right? Uh, so if you have the master's degree uh, in physics, engineering or applied mathematics or equivalent science, if you have like interest towards this image reconstruction, right, and F fMRI, so then you should apply for this position. As this is, this is related to the image processing, definitely you must have the... Uh, knowledge or little experience of like MATLAB or Python because these uh, MATLAB or Python, this tool will be used for the image processing techniques, right? And please remember for the Marie Curie PhD, you must not have experience more than four years after your master's, right? So your experience after master should be less than four years, then you should apply and you should have the excellent English language, right? That is also required. Okay. So now here is what you will get. You will get the good salary. And most of the time in Marie Curie PhD or Marie Curie scholarship, you get the uh, salary around 25% more than the average PhD. That is also, that's why this is very, very important. And you will get the industrial oriented training and you will maybe visit to some industry. You will visit other university, other countries as well. This is the part of Marie Curie PhD. So these are the how to apply. Everything is written here. Please remember like letter of motivation, CV, degree transcripts, two page summary of master thesis, contact details of two advisors or two referees and motivation letter. Please remember CV should be prepared according to this link, this link which is already provided here. And similarly for the motivation letter, they already provided some instruction how to provide motivation letter. You cannot just include whatever. Okay, what they are asking, at least it should be there, right? And this is maximum three pages of motivation letter. Okay. Huh. Okay. And link is here. Link will also provide it in the description box. This is also the Marie Curie PhD at the same university, University of Eastern Finland and deadline is 5th of June. And this is also related to the multi-scale imaging, right? So again, it is multi-scale imaging. So you must have the experience of signal processing, or machine learning or background in maybe mathematics or some programming skills in MATLAB or Python, as I discussed in the previous PhD position. Okay, so yeah, requirements, you must have the master's degree in engineering, computer science, physics, or maybe electronics engineering as well. If you have the experience of signal processing, image processing, doesn't matter. And it is also like uh, the topic is the computational validation of advanced MRI. Right, so it's all related to the image reconstruction, image processing. Okay, and here is like you will get the good salary, industrial oriented training, all benefits. Like because this is a very good job, and all this is like how to apply. I already told in the previous PhD position because that is also M was uh, Marie Curie PhD. So all these requirements, how to apply, is here, and the link to apply is here, and I will also post the link on the description box. Please remember you have to create the account, user account first before, before application. Okay, this Marie Curie, again, the Marie Curie PhD, this is also at the same university, University of Eastern Finland, and this is related to the business and management. So if this is, as this is related to the business and management, you must have the master's degree or, uh, and the research thesis in business studies, or like another field relevant uh, relevant field means similar to this topic, especially because this topic is basically the organizing collaboration for the brain health innovation. So uh, should have less than four years of experience after masters as I already uh, told. So this is innovation management. Please go through this topic. It is already written here and I will provide the link also so you can go through in detail. But this is related to the management and business studies. You must have master's degree in business or uh, business management, right? Okay, so, so 
everything is the same because it's the Marie Curie PhD. What like you will get and how to apply. The link is here and I will also provide the link in the description box. So please, if you need my help, okay, I'm going through very fast because uh, otherwise the video will be too long. So I don't need to go through detail because this is your job. But if you need my help to understand whatever, then we can go through detail. You just put the like comment in the description box and I can, uh, sorry, not in the comment box, comment section, and then we will go through and discuss together. Well, this is the postdoc position, right? And this postdoc position in enhancing transparency and understandability of artificial intelligence method, right? So it means if this is related to the artificial intelligence, and so you must have the degree in either computer science, mathematics, or statistics, something like that. And this position is at University of Oulu and deadline is 5th of June. Yes, and you must have the doctoral degree in computer, or mathematics, or statistics, or some related field if you have the, some experience or uh, interest toward the artificial intelligence, right? And Basically, this includes like temporal modeling, status space models, uncertainty propagations is all related to the statistics. Okay, so experience with machine vision or model explainer techniques such as uh, Lime and Sharp are considered as advantage. Excellence command in English language, this is the basic requirement, right? For all, it doesn't matter it's a PhD, bachelor, master, or postdoc. Okay, so what you will get, good salary around 3,400, 3,400 euro per month and all benefits and how to apply the link will be provided here, right? So you have must have your CV, list of publications, um, brief motivation letter, and names and email address of two referees or two persons who can provide good things, who can express, who can tell good things about you, right? Why you are the best candidate for this post of position. Okay, so link is here and link, uh, Link is here and link I will provide the description box. So please apply, 5th of June is the deadline. Okay, so this position, this is the research scientist fatigue and fracture mechanics. So you can understand, right? So this is related to the mechanical engineering mechanics, right? Material engineering, something like that. So this is, this is at VTT. VTT is the well-renounced company in Finland, right? And uh, for this position, you must have either master's or PhD, doesn't matter. If you have the experience and you don't have the PhD degree, it will also work. So, because this is the position of research scientist, right? And what are the other requirements are, it is like basically uh, you have good English uh, communication skill, you have the previous experience in R&D oriented engineering projects, or maybe the in the research or you're working as a scientist or researcher, something like that, right? Because if you are a PhD, then definitely you are working as a junior researcher, PhDs or researcher is, is equivalent to junior researcher. But if you have a master's, you must have experience. Please remember, if you have a just master's degree if you, and you have the experience, you are still eligible to apply for this position, right? So these are what you will do like, okay, guiding or supervise, supervising experimental research and laboratory personnel, so something like that. So you are working on the experiment and then publish the articles. That's uh, how it works, right? Okay, so now, so you will get the good salary, all benefits and salary can be discussed as well. So what you need, you need your CV and application with salary request, right? So with uh, like CV, publication, motivation letter and names and address of two referees. This is all you require. Link is here, link I will provide at the description box as well, okay? Okay, friends, so that's it from my side. So if you like, this video and if you find information what you want like so please share subscribe and like this video and do not forget to click on the bell icon so you will get informed or you will get notified about the new video regarding phd positions and the jobs in finland and other european countries thank you very much for connecting the citizen with see you in the next video bye bye